All right, hi, this is Joe Whitchurch, and I want to talk to you about creation. In the first five days, one, two, three, four, five of creation, God put everything together on this planet that we needed as humans to live and to flourish and to grow and to learn. He got us a habitat to live in with oxygen, with water, with food, with fishes, with birds, with livestock, with the stars that we could contemplate the bigness of God's creation. Uh, he created the light, he created the earth, and these are all things that are done according to his truth and his intelligent design. And he's a gracious giver that gave all of this to us. So by the sixth day when he created man, male and female in his image, all the gifts were in place. But uh, I don't know about you, but I stink at math. And my numbers never add up. And sometimes they're like a mirror image, like this is a one, right? And this is a two and a three upside down. Four is upside down. The five is upside down. It just seems like everything's upside down in my life. And that's because um, things are messed up. If you flip it over to the other side, you see the one's upside down and four's upside down. And we're trying to make sense of our lives. We try to get things to add up. But what happened is we rejected the gracious God and we wanted to do things our own way. And that's when sin entered into the situation. God had a remedy for it. He made skins for the first human pair, which means there's an animal that had to die to be skinned and to shed his blood. Because the Bible says, without the shedding of blood, there is no remission of sin. And even this is grace. Think about it. Think about it. And so what God wants with us is a relationship, a trust. Faith is really another word for trust and reliance upon him. But we need to have a new heart, not just for me, because I'm bad at math, a new way of doing arithmetic, but I need a new heart in terms of my attitude towards God, that I've got to trust that he is a good and gracious God that made things for us to flourish within our finite, we're creatures, we're not God, right? So I like to say that the numbers are mixed up and some of them are mirror image and some of them are are right side up and some of them are upside down, but you know what? There is somebody that makes sense of all of this who shed his blood for us for the forgiveness of our sins. And his name is not a number, but it's a five letter word, Jesus. And Jesus is the one that shed his blood for us so that we can trust and enter a relationship with God and get a new heart. Let me just share with you something really quick offside of that. And that is our hearts can be very cold and hard and distant. Well, when we offer them to God, he gives us a beat, a new heart, and a new mind as well. But a lot of times we just harden ourselves towards God and just throw it on the floor and step on it. But he picks us up. And when we offer ourselves to himself again, he gives us a new heart. All these words have five letters. <laughs> just like the five days of creation. If you take the H of earth and put it on the front, you get the new heart, and that's what we all need. And that comes through one, two, three, four, five. Jesus, he orders our life. We don't always understand what he's doing, but we know he does all things well. Thanks for listening.